Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy as you know by now, we always do. So what do we have for Aquarius please? Angel, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. 8th to the 14th of March 2021 what is the overarching energy or message okay message for Aquarius message for Aquarius so we have the nine of coins Aquarius Message for Aquarius. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. What do we have for Aquarius, please, for the week? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. We have memories. Okay, and angels, what is the message for Aquarius? Thank you. We have take action. So Aquarius, the cards I'm using, Tarot Grand Lux, Angel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. Um, the Oracle cards will be by Karen Kay, the Mermaid and Fairy. And then we're using the, oh, who is it? Ciro Marchetti decks of Tarot Royale and the Gilded Tarot. There, that's quite a lot to remember. <laughs> it's interesting. I'm getting Aquarian Energy, Five of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles there too. Okay, sometimes where I cut the cards is just as important. And it's definitely reaffirming the Nine of Pentacles energy for you. Okay, message for Aquarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides, mess message for Aquarius. 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. So I'm going to pull three cards, Aquarius. Then we're going to clarify, go deeper into the message. Temperance is in the challenge position. Advice from spirit. The magician, very nice energy. And... Seven of Pentacles is your outcome. Okay, let's clarify, go deep into the message. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aquarians. 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. Message for Aquarius, thank you. Just gonna do one more shuffle. message for Aquarius thank you thank you the moon seven of cups seven of pentacles we have the page of cups Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords here, Aquarius, okay. Lots of sevens, which is a master number, I have to say. It's a uh, divine guidance, divine assistance. Do you look it up as a master number because it's absolutely beautiful energy. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles here, Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles can be a card of independence, but it's also a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, recognizing your own ability to take care of you, recognizing your own ability to be empowered and stand on your own own feet, stand in your own feet and your own success, um, making it happen. This is fulfilling the promise of you of what you're capable of. I love the energy because it's somebody who stands in their own success and feels empowered. 
the nine of pentacles it's great in terms of money and career um, because it is a card of success and it's a personal achievement it's what you have delivered through hard work and effort so for some of you if it's been to do with money career business i definitely get for some of you that there is some success coming your way if it's to do with any other areas of life this is standing in your own knowing your own self-worth um standing in your own independence feeling really good you know feeling pretty good about it it's feel good energy the nine of pentacles i definitely feel in this instance aquarius that for some of you there is something to do here with moving on from the past the message i'm definitely getting in this energy you see the angel on the horse and we have memories here there is definitely this energy of yet yeah, take the memories with you but don't but don't be held hostage by them it is a time of getting on that horse taking action because you have the rainbow of the universe you know working with you in tandem carving out this path for you i definitely feel for some of you that this is a time for taking the reins charging your head going for something getting back on the horse feeling empowered making it happen and yeah memories may well be there but it doesn't stop you from bringing this feeling of empowered stability security self-worth self-esteem success coming your way yeah because for some of you it feels in this energy that you have experienced something that has made you feel imbalanced something caused you imbalance in your relation in your it could have been in a relationship it could have been in in terms of your money career finances it could have been life energy you know uh, but there's definitely an energy of needing to get the balance back trying to find the way through a situation now you know and the temperance card you can see fire and water two extreme situations you know opposite ends and temperance is finding that middle way through you know finding the middle way through um, extreme emotions extreme situations maybe some kind of you know something that has thrown you out of balance finding a way through and finding your flow again restoring balance in your life and releasing fear or doubt in moving forward surrendering because this is a card of hidden blessings you are being guided to find your way forward um, the moon card can be when we don't have clarity and it is a card of surrender just trust your intuition yeah trust your intuition that things are going to work out yeah it's a time of release it's a time of release releasing the extreme or imbalanced situation that you've been through and just surrendering it and allowing yourself to be intuitively guided forward because our intuition is that sense that we have it's divine energy that guides us when we can't use our normal senses to see the way forward in a situation we just surrender we just trust the universe and we trust our instinct that the choices the decisions that we make are the right ones for us and that's what the energies here are telling you the advice from spirit there are more options than you realize more doors to open more opportunities available to you very much in line with your hopes dreams and wishes here aquarius and any choices that you make you make based on your intuition here with the seven of cups because this can be an energy of you know I, there's so much choice in front of me i don't really know which way to go i don't have the clarity i don't see the way forward in the situation 
The message is you trust your intuition. You trust your intuition because the magician is telling you that now is the time to embrace the magic of you. Embrace your ability to make a dream a reality. I definitely see this in the in the, in this energy, you know, because I see one of these cups here with the page of cups. So I definitely see now is the time to transform your situation, manifest new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. Having gone through something that caused you a lot of instability, imbalance in your life. This is about really trusting your intuition now and where it's leading you. Because the magician is, when he appears, the time is now. The time is now to take action, to manifest a new path, to change an idea to reality, a dream to reality, um, a negative to a positive, base metal to gold. So it's time to manifest. You have all the tools at your disposal, earth, air, fire and water. Combined with the universal blessing that you're being given, hidden blessings, hidden blessings, to manifest new dreams. And remember, the moon card is about dreams too. This is about embracing, finding your flow to new dreams. Now is the time to dare to dream again. Because for some of you, there is one of those dreams that can become a reality. So not a time to hold back, not a time to hold back, not a time to let doubt or fear hold you back. You know, the Seven of Swords can be sometimes when we self-sabotage. It is Aquarian energy. It can also be with uh, keeping things close to your chest as well. You know, the ends justify the means. So to get to that goal of feeling empowered, secure, um, materially successful, financially successful, self-esteem, self-worth, in your own right, in your own standing, there may well be a need to be a little bit covert as well. But there's definitely an energy of keep going, keep persevering, because the dream, it feels for some of you, is within your grasp. The Page of Cups can be uh, a message to do with an opportunity, can be creative opportunities, opportunities close to your heart, can be to do with new love, um, new love interests as well. I mean, this is a card of keep going, you know, the, the Seven of Pentacles, good things come to those that are patient. And it feels for some of you, one of these hopes, dreams and wishes is coming your way so don't hold back um the pages are messengers and the pages um are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so for some of you there is definitely an energy of this seven of pentacles is going to translate to this nine of pentacles knowing your ability to bring about real success empowerment self-esteem self-worth uh, material success fulfilling the promise of you by yeah by really trusting your intuition and persevering to to really keep on going at something because it is going to end up with some kind of message to do with some kind of opportunity that's close to your heart here it's an absolutely beautiful energy. I mean, the Page of Cups is when things start looking up. Um, things start feeling good. So don't hold back. This, I get this energy of don't hold back. I'm going to pull one more card, Aquarius. Let's pull one more card.
Yeah, we have the tower, so yeah. Let's clarify that. Let's clarify this tower for Aquarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, let's clarify this tower for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Yeah, so it, what you're being told here, Aquarius, is there has been a challenging time that you've been through, but you, and the tower is, I mean, again, this feeling of instability doesn't surprise me because the temperance is trying to get the balance back, having gone through great instability in your life a life-changing energy. I mean, this can be in terms of your money career. This can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could be in terms of your property and home. I mean, call it what you will. You know, but the tower energy, I mean, we, we tear down and rebuild many towers in our lives because, you know, the tower of this has served its purpose and the universe is saying it's time for this tower to be torn down in order for you to evolve in order for you to be aligned to the path that you need to be on now. And the Seven of Wands is saying, yeah, even though it has been challenging this tower, you are getting on top of that which opposes you. This person is on higher ground than that which opposes them. So even though it feels overwhelming, keep going. Because it definitely feels for some of you, there's a situation that you're getting on top of. So many sevens, so many seven energies here. Um, you're getting on top of this and you have the power to manifest this new path for yourself in the form of a new dream, a new wish, a new hope, in the form of something coming your way with the Page of Cups, a message uh, that brings joy and happiness. So the message is just keep going. You are absolutely doing the right thing. Know your power to really manifest this new path for yourself. It feels very beautiful. Okay, final message for Aquarius, please. Final message for Aquarius. The inner child Fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. I mean, that's a good message for us all, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's pull a final message. Yeah, and that's what I'm getting here. You are absolutely on the right path to flourish. We have the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. And it's leading to flourishing the Nine of Pentacles. Abundance, self-sufficiency, financial security, self-worth, self-esteem, standing on your own two feet, in your own power and capability, you know? So it definitely feels for some of you here, Aquarius, the message is that is where you're heading. For some of you, the, the reading is keep on going. Good things come to those that are patient. And it feels that this is coming your way, the nine of pentacles in the form of some kind of hope, dream and wish coming true. So it feels very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.